Hey guys, I Device Help here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at iOS 13.2.3. Now, if you didn't catch my video yesterday, Apple released a brand new software update for iPhone and iPad users attempting to address a few issues with the latest iOS 13. Now, this is my 24-hour follow-up where I go over some of the details and release notes and tell you how my experience has been so far to see if Apple actually fixed what they have listed on the release notes. Now, there's been a few changes also that Apple had made yesterday that I wanted to talk about. Number one, starting with the WWDC application available in the App Store. Now, Apple has updated the application, number one, with a new icon as well as a new Apple developer name. Now, there's also some UI changes, a new discovery tab, enhanced search UI, dark mode support, Apple developer program enrollment, and so forth. The application can be downloaded. You can enroll as Apple developer directly from the app. App. There's a new icon and it's now called developer instead of WWDC. So that's a minor change there that Apple has made to their developer application. Now, another announcement that Apple made yesterday was the actual invitation for December the 2nd with the tagline loved by millions created by the best. Now, Apple is set to be holding an event at New York City on December the 2nd to honor developers and game developers from the App Store. Now, do not expect any major releases in regards to hardware so don't expect any iphones any ipads anything like that this is most likely going to be an award event for developers game developers and app developers all in one single place as apple has updated their developer application or their wwdc application it looks like apple is aiming to hold a very important event for developers later this year on december the 2nd so now let's go over to some of the release notes from yesterday and give you my thoughts on how the software has been performing on my end so diving into some of the release notes the first one here says it fixes an issue where search and search within mail files and notes might not work now i did not encounter this issue myself so everything is working just fine for me when i search on files when i search on notes and mail everything is populating properly so if you were having that issue it appears to be working just fine for me again i did not have that issue now one issue i did have that apple did address and i'll go over this one here is attachment issues where photos links and other attachments in messages will not display under details view so if we go to message here you see in a conversation if someone would send you a photo or send you a screenshot or send you a link if you go to the details section here it should appear in this categories here and it is it's working fine now before this wasn't working properly so there it is links are appearing photos are appearing and everything else if we click here on more you see that the screenshots are also showing up here on the details section of messages so it looks like this issue has been resolved Another issue that Apple aimed to fix with this software, something that I did not personally encounter, was some apps would not load the content in the background. So if you have app issues where some apps would just not load the content in the background, it wasn't the application, it was actually iOS, it looks to be resolved. Now, another issue with iOS 13 was the issue with the emails application, which has been quite a bit of an issue since the initial launch of iOS 13. This one resolves an issue where it wouldn't fetch data on your iOS device. So it looks like data is being fetched properly so far over the last 24 hours I've used the software. It looks like everything is working as intended. So far, finally, there it is, it's fetching the actual email. So everything is working just fine. Now, in regards to battery, I know you guys are really focused on the battery because many users are reporting battery draining issues. I'm going to be testing the battery thoroughly over the next 24 to 48 hours. You can expect my follow-up video here in about two to three days where I talk about the battery on the latest iOS 13.2.3. I'm gonna go over some of the details. I'll be testing multiple devices Devices. So be sure to subscribe so you can get some more information on the latest release for iOS 13 and my YouTube community poll will be up soon. So be sure to keep an eye out for that so you can express your thoughts on the latest iOS 13.2.3. Thank you for watching guys. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.